I'm the producer of Banga, Massacre Energy, Top Farm, Stay Strong, Governor Grand Market. I've worked with Verge and Tayam, to name a few of the, the popular stuff. Viewers and subscribers, greetings, love and respect from a new device and a new one connection entertainment. Big up all of my loyal supporters who stay tuned to the channel, what if I respect and love and know the thing go. And all who not subscribe yet, do it now and click the notification bell to get the latest uploads at all time. Dancehall producer J Bad of J1 Production found dead in the trunk of his car. Also coming up in this video, two top tier gangster in custody caught in the app committing a murder people you know, have to check out this story remember like the video share the video subscribe support the movement one connection or no connection Dancehall producer J Bad is dead. Reports are that the beatmaker was found dead on Thursday. Details of the incident are still not clear, and the constabulary communication unit could not confirm reports of his death. However, a music insider said that the producer has been killed. Reports are that he was killed in downtown Kingston. They killed him and put him in a him car trunk. I don't know what he was doing down there because a waterhouse me know him come from, the source told the news. j is known for providing beats for dancehall songs such as Stay Strong, Energy, for established artists, Chronicler, Governor, Tamil Lee Sparta and Sika Rhymes. He was reportedly working with the Six Camp. Entertainer Sika Rhymes offered his condolence via IG. Andrew Blacks also posted a photo of the late producer on IG. j Bad's girlfriend Bonilyn also emoted her feelings on IG sharing All I've been doing is saying no and asking God why. Why? Cause you work hard and elevate yourself time after time. You were such a breath of fresh air. You believe in me when I couldn't believe in myself. You showed me what love means. You treated me like a queen, literally. You were perfect, baby. That's her word. Now people trust me. Another sad day in dancehall as we lose another member from the dancehall industry. And as you hear, this is a beat maker, J Bad. Yeah, we know a whole heap of work with J Bad put in in the dancehall game. And trust me. Producer like J Bad, you know, Jaja. We don't know where the people are go, but they might leave Earth so fast. I swear. Viewers, tell me your thoughts in the comment area below. Remember, like the video, share the video. Now we're going to the next topic of this video. Two top tier gangsters in custody following quick police response in St. James. Two of St. James' top tier gangsters are in police custody in hospital after they engage lawmen in a daring daylight gunfight in Catherine Hall on Friday, September 11. The men were among a group of individuals who were fleeing the scene of a murder they committed just moments before. Reports are that about 11.20 on Friday morning, 24-year-old Renard Anderson was watching over his friend roadside vending stall when he was approached by one of the suspects who shot him several times to his head and upper body. The suspect then ran into a waiting Nissan Note motor car with speed off. Members of the St. James Quick Response team were immediately deployed and a chase ensued. The occupants of the vehicle opened fire at the police team and eventually crashed into a parked vehicle. Four men alighted from the vehicle and continued firing at the police before fleeing in separate directions. The chase continued on foot and Tosen Lewis O.C. Dada along with Andre Reed O.C. Lil Zulus were accosted suffering from gunshot wounds. Two illegal firearms suspected to have been used to commit the murder were recovered from both men. Renner Anderson was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced dead later in the afternoon. The injured gangsters remain at a hospital in serious condition under a police guard. 
I've noticed the fact that both Toussaint Lewis and Andre Reid were both recently released from detention in the St. James State of Public Emergency. Between them, they are both before the court for charges ranging from murder, illegal possession of firearms and other violent crimes. One of the suspects is a person of interest in a murder committed two weeks ago. Both are currently subject to conditions of bail requiring them to report to the police station in Hanover and St. James. In the past 18 months, four illegal firearms have been recovered by the police from one of the suspects across three separate occasions. Andre Reid is to reappear in the Western Regional Gun Court on October 2nd, 2020 to answer charges of illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. There is currently no state of public emergency in place in St. James. When you hear what I want in the report, people, I wonder if you really are listening to what I want. When you really, really are listening to what I want, when you hear the report just say one of the man them where the police them catch. In the past 18 months, four illegal firearms have been recovered by the police from one of the suspects across three separate occasions. So police catch two men with two guns and one of them mania. The police them get four guns from him in a 18 months. No, the mania the man is a real criminal. The man is a real wrongdoer. So the police them come catch him with a gun now and when you do the calculation within 18 months from then to now them get four guns from Damania so make we see what will happen if you know you might go the road for them get the fifth one viewers tell me what you think in the comment area below remember like the video share the video subscribe support the movement one connection or no connection